Chris, just first, how are you feeling? And um, just getting back out there today, playing. How have the last few weeks been? What's that back to the TT3 feeling for your first night? I feel really good. Um, I feel like I'm in a good spot. I got uh, some live at bats uh, before the the game started, and um, I feel like I'm in a good place. So I'm excited. Did you say that you're like 100 percent right now? Or? Yeah. Any next question? Gonna go far right away, Dave. Chris, so many of your teammates and yourself have had postseason experience in the biggest of games. As this series goes deeper. Do you feel like that's a tangible advantage for you guys? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I think the experience definitely helps, you know, just, uh, you know, having a bunch of guys that have been there every year and, uh, and we know what it takes and, uh, you know, just having um, an experienced group. Um, but I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, we just have a good baseball team and um, we're just focused on doing our job and each guy doing their part and uh, I think we know if um, you know we play the way we're capable of uh, things will take care of themselves. Take it straight in the back to Bill. Yeah Chris, were you available for games one and two health wise and were you surprised when you didn't uh, when Dave didn't use you as a pitch hitter? Um, yeah I was available I'm 100% like I've been saying I'm ready to go. Um, and I, I mean, I'm always expecting it. I think you have to have a mentality when you go into it that you're getting that bat. If you don't, and then you're not, you're really not prepared. So um, every potential situation that I could come in off the bench, I'm fully expecting to get that at bat. Okay, in the back here on the left. Chris, when the neck issue first popped up, how, how concerned were you that this would be possible to get that this? Um. No, I, I mean, when it happened, it was really, it was more just unfortunate timing because I was coming off a really good game. Um, I had three hits and I felt I, I, um, all like middle of the field, right uh, to right field, which I hadn't done that in a while. And it felt really good. I was finally like doing what I wanted to in the box. And um, the, uh, yeah, the timing of it was just unfortunate, like a week before postseason games. And uh but like I said, uh, it was more just uh, having to get those at bats right before, and uh, you know, understanding that you know, kind of fighting for to be in there right now. That was unfortunate, but I'm 100 percent good to go. So, okay, down the middle, Jack. Were you able to get that feel back with your swing during the sim game situations, or, or is part of that you don't know for sure until you get into an actual game like tonight? Yeah, no, I. Uh, the first sim games, um, sim game we had, I think it was the Sunday. Uh, there was a little bit of that anxiousness again, just not seeing pitching in a week. Kind of, it just takes a few pitches and a few swings to get comfortable, and and then I kind of realized, oh, like I have um, more time than I thought. Like I, um, and then once I, uh, you know, put a few balls in play. Uh, I felt really good, and Monday I got some at bats, and those went really well. So, and just watching from the side, the way that they attacked you guys just as a whole so far, is there anything surprising or unexpected, or just that you picked up on? Dave's kind of talked about, you know, it seems like they're maybe emphasizing just a lot of spin, secondary stuff. You know, what have you noticed in the first two games there? Um, I don't. I haven't noticed anything super obvious. Um, it might be, you know, me not being in the lineup. Uh, you know, I'm, I might not notice some things that other guys notice actually like being in the box hitting. Um, but uh, the, uh, yeah, like I said, like I'm down in the cage and I'm like staying loose and hitting and stuff. So there might be some things I miss, but no, I think um, they're just like, they're playing good baseball. You can see that right now. Um, you know, I would say this, they're playing uh, their best baseball of the year since we played them. So we uh, we understand like this is a good team and uh, we got to bring our A game. Okay, we're going to go there in the middle. Yeah. yeah, Chris, have you been able to pinpoint what it is specifically you've been trying to work through with your swing overall this year? I, I mean, there's so many. It's a long season. That's such a broad question of like, right now I'm in a good spot. I'll just say that. And like, I feel like I can, 
at this point in time, I can actually do what I'm wanting to do, and that's use the whole field, hit the ball, uh, gap to gap. And um, throughout the year, I was really having trouble doing that. And then you said uh, earlier that sort of coming into the last postseason, like right before you sort of found something in your swing that worked. What do you remember? What, what that was, and what when that was? Was it sort of like the day of the wild card game? Like when did you sort of? Last year it was. Um, actually, the wild card game, I felt terrible. <laughs> um, but, you know, that was just one of those things. And I, uh, I, just one swing can kind of lock you back in. And obviously that's huge for, like, your, your confidence going forward when you come up with a big hit like that going into the Giants series. And I'm sure that played a part in uh, me feeling more comfortable and better mechanically as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, I remember what the adjustments I made going into that giant series that kind of um, got me going. But I wish it was as simple as like, oh, you know, this worked for me then, now it's gonna work for me, and that's just not the case. Like, your swing involves and changes, and a lot of the times the things that get you locked in are the same things that eventually get you in a slump, and you kind of have to revert. So it's just, uh, constantly making adjustments and um, I don't even want to go into what I did last year because it doesn't matter. Okay. Far left, you have right. Yeah, Chris, you, you guys have dominated the matchups with the Padres so much in the last few years that even though when you'd come in there would be energy at Petco Park, but maybe it was muted for a lot of the game. Now they win the Mets series in New York, they win game two in LA. What, what are your expectations of the environment tonight? That which may be different than any time you guys have played here. Yeah, no, I think it's probably going to be the best environment we've ever, the loudest environment we've ever seen here. Um, we know they're going to be excited coming off a win, one to one playoff series. Like this is um, arguably like the biggest games they've had here in a really long time. So uh, I know it's going to be loud and it's going to be fun. Stay here on the uh, Blake Snell the other day said that Game Six of the 2020 World Series was probably the best he's ever pitched. Uh, I don't think you were too familiar with him going into that series. Now that he's with the Padres, you've seen him a lot over the last two years. How does that help you going into this matchup, seeing him tonight? And then, is it a situation where if he's locked in and just in the zone, is he that tough for you? Uh, I mean, I, I think experience um, facing a pitcher anytime. Um, you can get that. Uh, I, I've always thought it's an advantage for the, the offense. Um, the more you face a guy, the more experience you have, I think um, the advantage goes to the hitters. Maybe that's my biased opinion, being a hitter, but I think it just gives the offense chances to make adjustments, and I'm sure pitchers could make similar arguments, but um, just having that familiarity. Um, and. Uh, I can't remember the second part of that question. Is, it, is the familiarity something that you think would outweigh if he was like locked in? Oh, yeah, no, I mean, he ha he's got really good stuff. So, you know, he's always tough. I think he's had some success off us all year. You know, he has uh, four plus pitches. Um, so it's kind of, it's just a matter of sort of grinding them out and um, battling with them.